Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and today something rather special. I'm in Duncton and I'm looking at the recreational facilities of this wonderful rural village. And I'm joined today, I'm very thrilled to say, by Canon Peter Cole. Hello, Peter. Hello, nice, nice to be with you. Now, you are dressed up in some splendid regalia which uh, denotes your sport, which is croquet. It is croquet, it's, uh, Quite a, a game which is open to anyone and uh, complete beginners can enjoy it it's and the real experts. Fantastic. I'm a beginner. Uh, are you a beginner? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to find out a little bit about croquet and how it came to Duncton. Um, it's a very quintessential English game, isn't it? It is very much so. It's a very misunderstood game. Is it? It's, there's a lot of strategy and tactics in it and proper croquet, association croquet, you play and your moves ahead, rather like chess. Yes, I've always, I, I've not, I've only ever, I'm going to get all the termination wrong, I've only ever used the bat, it's uh, the, what's it called, the croquet? Croquet mallet. Mallet, there yes. we go. I've only ever used that in a bit of fun at a party, w through the hoop, so I don't know it, but somebody did say it's very much like chess, you're always thinking several steps ahead. That, that's correct. You're yeah. thinking ahead and then you've got to be able to make your ball go where you want it to go. And the, the joy of the game is when you have the two balls touching each other, you have an extra shot and you make them both go where you want them both to oh, go. Oh, I see, yes. And yes. they may be the same way and they may be different ways uh, and there are different distances as well. Now you are responsible for bringing the game here to Duncton, aren't you? I suppose in a way, yes. <laughs> Can you tell me how that came about? Well, it's a fairly complicated story. Um, when I retired in the 1990s, I went to live at Fittleworth and I had a croquet set, but our garden wasn't big enough to play croquet. And so we put a little letter in the Fittleworth Parish magazine asking if anyone would like to join together to play croquet together hoping that somebody with a nice big garden would come along and say yes. Yes. And sure enough, that's what happened. I had 11 responses. Wow. For a little village like Fittleworth. And we started playing regularly every week in the ground of the old rectory at Fittleworth. Lovely. That was about 1995, something like that. And um, then we got a bit keen on it and we wanted a bigger lawn and a, a better lawn. So we arranged to move down into the recreation ground at Fittleworth, where we had two full-size lawns, uh, which were great. But the snag was it, it was in the cricket outfield. Oh, I see. And so we couldn't play whenever there was a cricket match ah, going on. Yes. And that was most weekends. And so we... Uh, also, there was a, a big disadvantage. One of the cricket team, fast bowlers, started his run uh, with a great big scuff mark in the ground oh no right by where we wanted one of our hoops ah. and uh, we we reached the point where we about 1997 where we decided we'd either got to carry on playing amateur garden croquet uh, occasionally or move to our own ground which we could control ourselves yes and we took the plunge. Oh, yes. And somebody said, there's an old football field in Duncton, which is not being used. Maybe we could get the use of that. And here we are today. And, and here you are. Now, I mean, just looking around, you know, it, it is a bit like bowls that you've got wonderfully flat grass in order to have, I suppose, an even play. Yes. And moving from that uh, amateur game that you're playing in the in the rectory back gardens yes. and things to this fine thing that must have taken quite a bit of time and effort and money no doubt it took a lot of money and we, we were very fortunate in the grants that we had and uh, we 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 had to put the rabbit fence all the way around because there's a lot of rabbits here now that's interesting you don't really think about that do you that no. the rabbits would have come the fence and... goes down two feet underground does it and then levels comes out l-shaped yes so the rabbit comes along hits the bar, tries to go down, can't go down, 
and hopefully gives up. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that... we haven't we haven't had rabbits in here at all. We've been very fortunate. What about moles? Oh, yeah, moles are the bigger problem. <laughs> oh dear. And we have to have a we have a contract with a mole man who will come out as soon as the mole hill appears, and right. he he does the deed. Yes, oh dear. <laughs> yes. It would be very unfortunate. Um, do you know, do you know the history of croquet? How far it dates back? It's not really known. It's been played in this country for 150 years. Yes. Um, whether it's got a French origin, I don't. We we don't know. I mean, I always associate it with large Georgian country houses, with you know, with big oh, lawns yes. and and everybody going out to play croquet. Is that is that the sort of image that most people? I, th have? I think so. I think it started as, as a, a, a gentle sort of game. Yes. And. Uh, but now it's quite serious. Croquet is a, is a very serious business. Yes. And you 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 have very very elaborate rules about what you can and can't do, and and uh, you can you get extra turns for hitting another ball, and in theory a person can go the whole way round in one turn. Gosh, so it's it's a, a thriving club here now. Yes, we have uh, about 60 to 70 members. Wow, that's really good for, for Duncton. Um, are, um, do you get people from coming from afar because of the wonderful ground? We get quite a few few people. It's a beautiful situation yes. with the, the view there. You've got the, and, the, the um, wonderful South Downs and Duncton Hill up there. Our, our problem is that there are not many people living in, the, in our catchment area. Ah. Um, the more cows than people probably. If cows could play croquet, we'd do very well. <laughs> yes, yes. They might but, um, churn up the grass somewhat, cows. We envy people who've got a, got a Brighton on their doorstep ah, with yes. all the, yes. the million people there. Do you have a play from other clubs coming here? We do. We, yes. we, we have a lot of inter-club tournaments. Right. And um, we play host to uh, several tour tournaments here. And we, we have regular league matches and uh, every year uh, we, we enter the league, the U League. And, um, and you've got probably a, a case full of trophies. Uh, you should have been here a fortnight ago when we had about tw 25, 30 people playing all at once. Oh wow. And we, we have two, uh, two full-size lawns here and one half-sized lawn, which we set the hoops out on. Yes. And when we when we have our tournament, invite other five other clubs to come. We we have divide the big lawns into into halves and have five small lawns. And so there's five games of croquet going on at the same time. Wow! So well, you can reduce the the size of the lawn and still have a good game. Oh yes, you still have a very yes. good game. Yes. Oh, you have to slightly adapt the rules, but yes, the plumbing is quite a feature here. We had to have we've got pop up pop up sprinklers. Oh, do you? And, and to keep that grass looking absolutely so lush. It gets watered every night. Oh, wow, that's and, amazing. Uh, that costs quite a lot of money. Yes, so there we are. You need the members. Yes. 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 All right, Peter. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, my very great thanks to Canon Peter Cole for introducing me to croquet here in Duncton. But that's not all that was going on in the village. And in our next video, we'll be finding out more about the rural sports. So don't forget to join me then. In the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what we do and come back again. And we'll find out all about stall ball for one thing. Till then, bye bye.